welcome back everyone so in today's video i'm going to show you how we can create a slider animation along with that you'll also be seeing some amount value going up and down so let's quickly have a look at what we're going to build today and then we can get started so i'll just go ahead and preview this one and i'll also minimize this window so that there's focus on the preview so this is a kind of a car loan application where the user can choose the amount or the budget that he wants to set for the car so i'll just go ahead and slide this up and as you can see the currency i mean the amount is increasing and also the car image is changing so if i go to the end you can see how the value increases and i can go back also and all the way to the starting so that is a cool uh, animation that you're seeing there you can also try something similar with a personal loan application as you see here so if i go ahead and increase the slider you can see the number of uh, dollar bills have increased and as i go further you can see the number of dollar bills increasing so that is something cool we can try on adobe xd so without any further ado let's go ahead and try to build this so here we have a new document and along with this i also have my assets ready that i've used in the demo so the main focus of this video is going to be on the creation of the slider animation and also the amount value going up and down. So I'll quickly speed up this uh, creation of the UI part so that we can jump into the creation of the animation. So stay tuned and enjoy the music. Okay, so now that we have most of the UI done, let's go ahead and see how we can create the animation. So having a look at the slider here, uh, I have three objects here. One is a circle slider, which is the one that will move. And then we have the fill slider, which is nothing but the fill state that will gradually increase in size uh, as we drag the slider. And then we have the empty slider, which is nothing but the gray part that you see here. So animating the slider is going to be pretty easy when compared to the amount field. So if you have seen the demo in the amount field, each of these digits animate independently. So as of now, I just have one single label, so we cannot animate it as I've shown in the demo. So to achieve that, we have to separate out each of these digits into separate labels. So to do that, what I'll do is, I'll just copy this label here, and I'll reduce the opacity of this to say 40%, and I'll just lock this layer. So now this will act as a reference guide so that we can place our individual digits. So I paste the one that I just copied and I'll go ahead and say dollar and I'll try to align it with the guide that we created. I'll do a command D and then say three. I'll align it, then I'll copy or just duplicate it. So you can always use the repeat grid feature that we have here, but since there are just a few digits here, I'll try to do it manually with the duplicate feature that is much easier. So there you go, I have separated out all these digits into separate labels now. So now I can go ahead and remove the reference guide that we created. So I'll unlock it and delete it. Now that we have separate labels, what we'll need is we have to place all the digits, say it's from zero to nine in each of these labels. So I'll just edit this and I'll enter in all the digits. So as you can see, I have entered all the digits here from zero to nine. So let me just show you the demo once again to explain you something. So I'll just preview this. And as you can see, if I try to drag this, the first digit that is when you count from the right side, first digit moves at a faster pace when you compare to the last one here. So if you have a look, the ones that are towards the right move at a faster pace than the ones at the left. So to mimic that animation, 
what we are going to do is on the digits towards the first that is the right we'll have a lot number of digits than on the complete left so to explain that i'll just copy this and here i'm going to paste it for let's say five times so copy it one two three four five so i have five set of digits from zero to nine and when i go to the next one i'll just do it four times one two three four and i'll keep reducing it gradually one two three and this one is one two and the first one will have just one time so that will basically help us to mimic the animation that we just seen in the numbering system so now that is done now we have to mask out all these unwanted digits so the user just has to see the one that is shown here so for that i'll just take a rectangle and i'll draw it over the area that the user has to see and i'll remove the border and the fill and now what i'll do is mask it so for that i'll select each of these digits here or the labels and i'll also select the rectangle that we just created and go to object say mask with shape so there you go now the user will be just able to see the ones that are here and the extra digits will be hidden so now we are almost done with creating the labels base structure uh, or the amounts base structure and next is the car animation so to achieve that i'll just copy another car image here so this is going to be an expensive car compared to this so i'll place it somewhere here out of the visible area and to make it a part of this artboard i'll just select both and say group command g or control g so now this is a part of this artboard and now our base structure is ready so let's go ahead and duplicate this one so i select the artboard and say command d so now this is going to be the first state and this is going to be the second state or the final state of the animation in the first state let's say the car's value is going to be 15000 yeah that looks pretty decent for this hatchback car i'm frankly not aware of the price but let's say it's 15000 for the animation or the tutorial sake and let's say this second car is going to cost us mm, let's say around 70000 i think that's too expensive for a sedan but just for the tutorial sake yep so when this goes to 7 our next digits also has to animate so what i'll do is i'll select each of these digits so you can actually move each of this individually or you can just select all and move it together and as you can see these digits are missing here that is because the ones here have lesser digits so what i'll do is i'll align everything to the bottom and that will align all these labels to the bottom and then i can move it to the closest say zero here yeah so that looks good aligned properly so now we have one with 15000 and one with 70000 and also we have to move the car image here so i'll move it somewhere here this looks good and the last thing is the slider so i'll move the slider from here to say somewhere here that looks good and we have to increase the fill state so i'll give it something like 200 yeah that's perfect almost there let's keep it here okay so now we are almost done and what you are left left with is just the prototyping so i'll go to prototype mode and select the slider circle here and i'll drag it to the next state and the trigger point is going to be drag and the type is going to be auto animate So I think we are pretty much done it should work as we expect it to work so I'll go ahead and I'll preview it Okay so now we are in the preview mode I'll go ahead and drag it hopefully it works and as you can see it's working perfectly So I'll again drag it So that's how you do it We have done the car application here. So uh, as I've shown in the demo, there's one more state. You can just do the same thing. I won't be showing that because it'll increase the duration of this video. So I'll go quickly go ahead and show you the personal loan uh, application too. So for that, what I'll do is I'll copy this one. Let me go back to the design mode, and I'll try to duplicate this artboard here. 
and let's say in this what I'll do is uh, first thing is I'll change this to personal so that's a personal loan I'll remove the card image and I'll get in my new asset that is the dollar bill here so here we have something a tricky part here so let's say I put it somewhere here that looks good and what I'll do is uh, as you have seen in the demo this actually rotates but it is going to rotate, rotate at a particular angle here so if you see here the anchor point of the dollar bill is in the center here but we don't have an option to change the anchor point in Adobe XD but I want it to rotate from this point the right bottom so we have a small trick for that what you'll do is take a rectangle and draw it over the dollar bill exactly the size of it and we just have to make it double the size so the width is going to be into two and the height is also going to be into two so now if i go ahead and remove the border and the fill and i try to group both so i'll select the dollar bill and i'll select the rectangle i'll try to group it command g and now if i try to rotate it you can see the anchor point has changed so that is how you can change the anchor point of any object. So now that we have the anchor point set, what we have to do is just animate it. So in the demo, you can see that I have uh, bought in more dollar bills here. So what I'll do is I'll just try to duplicate this here. So I'll duplicate it four more times. And we have the base structure ready. So let me just go ahead and duplicate this artboard. And in this, what I'm going to do is, we are going to rotate each of these uh, dollar bills here. So let's say around 20 degrees or let's say 18 degrees is perfect. So the first dollar bill is going to go to 18 degrees and then the next one is 36. The next one would be 36 plus 18. And the last one would be 54 plus 18 yeah this looks good and we could also like move it towards the center so that it looks properly aligned and we are done with the final state of the dollar bills and let's say we'll move this one also to the highest point so let's try 9999 so I'll just group all select all these and align it to the bottom so now i can go ahead and just drag all of these and align it properly yes that looks good and this is going to be the and let's try the ultimate end and the fill state also to the complete end so that's going to be 327 yes so that looks good and finally we are left with just the prototyping which is very simple just go to prototype mode select the circle here and drag it to the next end state and the trigger point is going to be drag auto animate everything looks good so let's go ahead and preview it hopefully it works so here we have the initial state i just go ahead and drag it you can see how cool that animation is the amount increases and the dollar bills also increase so that's how you create this cool animation i hope you like this video and as always if you like the video please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the bell icon thanks for watching